Hi, Bron and Scott Woods from the Pride and team with your weekly update. Today is more just sharing some thoughts based on some of the information that I've gathered over the last week. Um, another busy week for the Pride and team with 74 Warner Park Avenue now sold, 20, 20 Warner Park Avenue is now under contract and 41 Western Road is also under contract as well as uh, 3A Western Road um, all soon to be sold. So 502 Huia Road went live yesterday, so make sure that you check it out on proagent.co.nz. Absolutely lovely three bedroom home, so beautifully presented with good parking and a stunning setting. Um, I've been thinking a bit about the report that I did last week and how supply and demand affects property values. So the main thing that stood out to me um, was net migration. So an influx of people coming to New Zealand um, or going back from the negative <laughs> net migration that we were experiencing before and how that's going to affect the property market um, today and going forward. At first I was thinking about rental properties. So all these people will need to be housed, right? So this is going to cause a shortage in rental properties, especially in Auckland where all the jobs are. Uh, one of Oster, um, our Oster rental managers came to talk to us at a Tuesday meeting um, and mentioned that there's an increase in foreign inquiry and um, the pressure on rental prices as well. So rental prices are increasing. As rental prices increase, first home buyers may be encouraged to buy instead of renting and investors may also start to see the benefit of owning more rental properties. But then that got me to thinking about the upcoming elections and how in past experience things tend to go quiet leading up to and after the elections um, and how that will affect the, the property market. Um, but also the big elephant in the room, the changes made by the current gov government around tax deductibility. So could a change in the government create a change in the tax rules? Well, you know, they have promised that these will be uh, loosened a little bit. And could that encourage more investors back into the market? Um, or if things stay the same, could this cause investors to sell their rental properties because the cost to hold the property uh, with the higher interest, interest rates and no tax deductibility is too high? And so they're looking at investing their money elsewhere. Um, and then that got me to thinking about supply and demand from a development perspective. Um, so we know that um, the reports in the last year have been there's been a huge decline in building consents being issued. Um, so after the last couple of years of, of very high numbers of building consents being issued, um, this has dropped down quite significantly. So with less buildings being built, uh, the higher cost to build and the lower sale prices, there isn't enough margin for developers. Um, my husband's an architect and I've noticed that there's been a drop down of, of inquiries from that perspective. Um, so that coupled with uh, migration, we may be going back to property shortages that we experienced in 2020 and 2021 because there's less properties being built. Uh, that could creep back into conversations going forward. Another thing I thought I'd look at for this week was where our vendors were going, because obviously we, you know, we, we assessed who was buying the properties last week, now we're looking at, at where people are moving to. And of the eight vendors that I looked at, three were staying in Auckland. So 72% of our vendors are actually leaving Auckland. Um, so I've been doing videos now for a, for a year. If you like them, please like them. <laughs> um, and if you have any questions or there's anything that you'd like me to cover in these videos, please uh, post a comment below. Um, also, don't forget to check out our Learn From The Pros videos for buying and selling. Um, and thanks for watching.